Welcome. Today we will learn how to crochet puff flower scarf. As we see the scarf consists of a number of puff flowers connected to each other. And we will leave a gap here where both ends of the scarf will intersect like so. So let's get started. We will use Ollie's Scrimbiba yarn. And a size 3 hook. We will use 3 colors, rose, off-white and gray. We will use 50 grams of yarn for each color. And we will consume more amount if we wanted to add more flowers to increase the length of the scarf. But for the size we're making here, we will consume 50 grams for each color. Now we will start making the flower, and we started off with 4 chain stitches and connected them. Then chain 1 to start the new row. We will work 10 single crochets in this row, going into the center of the circle of chain stitches. So we've started with 4 chain stitches and connected them to form a ring. And we'll work the stitches into the center of this ring. 10 single crochets into the ring. This is the first one. 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 After working 10 stitches, we will join the round with a slip stitch. Now we will make the petals of the puff flower. We'll start with 2 chain stitches. Then we work 5 half double crochets in the first stitch. This is the second. 3 4 5 So we've started with 2 chain stitches. Then worked 5 incomplete half double crochets in the first stitch. Incomplete to form the puffy shape. The petal isn't completed yet. We're going to work another 5 half double crochets in the next stitch. 3 4 5 Then yarn over and pull through all of the half double crochets. And then slip stitch. Then we will work 2 chain stitches to finish the first petal. And close the stitch in the same stitch we worked the last half double crochet. Now the first petal is completed. And now for the second petal so we chain 2. And go into the next stitch after the one we just chained from. And work 5 incomplete half double crochets. 2. And 3. 4. 5. And again, we are going to work another 5 incomplete half double crochets in the next stitch. 4. 5. Yarn over and pull through all of the half double crochets. And a chain stitch. Then work 2 chain stitches to finish the petal, and close the stitch where we worked the last half double crochet. And continue on another 3 petals. We worked 10 single crochets at the beginning so we can make 5 petals, 1 petal in each 2 stitches. And we can change the shape of the flower by making 1 petal in each 3 single crochets not 2. 
or we can work 8 or 12 stitches instead of 10. We can make any number of stitches enables us to distribute petals evenly. Also if the yarn is thicker or thinner, we can make less of the half double crochets we work into the single crochets. Or as much as the hook can take so the petal size is reasonable. So the petal shouldn't be too puffy or too loose more than it should be. So it's up to us to make less or more than 5. As we said it depends on how much the hook can take and on the shape we want. Now we've done 2, and we will make another 3 in the 6 stitches left, 1 petal in each 2 stitches. If you want more demonstration for how the puff stitch is done, you can refer to the tutorial video we made for this stitch in detail on our channel. Now we completed the flower. And we connect it. And this is how it looks. Now we'll make the flowers in other colors. After we finish all flowers in three colors we will see how to attach them to each other. The width of the scarf will be 4 flowers beside each other. So if we want to add more width we can add more flowers. Same for length, we can make it longer by adding more flowers or shorter by reducing the number of flowers. So anyway, more flowers means more width or length. Now let's see how to connect them. We will use a yarn needle. Grab a piece of yarn and connect it to the needle to start connecting the flowers. We will attach the flowers from separate spots. So we're not going to attach all flowers from all sides. We will connect each flower to the other at one petal each, like that. And we will connect the inner loops together. Both chain stitches at the beginning and ending of each petal, we will use them for the connections. And we will use the inner loops for each stitch, so that at the end the seam will be on the back side of the scarf, not the front side. The back side only. Now we're connecting these two petals together. By the inner loops,
and tie a knot. Then cut this end off. Now we've connected the first two flowers. Let's connect the third one. And we will connect this petal to this one. Same way from the inner loops as we said. From the back side of the flower. We can distinguish the back side from the front side as we can see the back side is more flat than the front side. The front side has this puff here which we want to face the front of the scarf. But the back side which we made the sewing in is a little bit flat. So we will connect the yarn. And as we said, we will connect each two stitches from the inner loops of each. Now this side is attached so we tie a tight knot. And cut it off. Now we've connected three flowers as we can see. We will add another flower and attach it to this flower the same way. Attach these two petals together like this. And this will be the width of the scarf. And for the length we will add more flowers here. Just as we connected two petals side by side, we will connect this one below the other. So connect the yarn. In the inner loops as we can see. So that the seam is hidden from the front side. Then tie a knot. And cut it off. Now these flowers are attached side by side. This is how the front side looks after connecting this flower. And the seam is hidden. It appears only on the back side. And continue the same way. Place it here like that. And we will connect this flower to the upper one from this spot here. And also from the side at one petal. Then we add another one here. And connect one petal to the one on the other flower. So the final shape will be flowers connected to each other from one petal each. And there should be a clear gap between them without any other connections or sewing. Flowers are attached to each other at these parts only. We will continue connecting flowers to each other until we finish all flowers and reach the desired length. And we'll see how it will look after connecting them all together. This is the scarf after connecting all flowers together. We demonstrated how we connected all flowers at different spots. We didn't connect the flowers at all sides, but each two petals fronting each other. And as we can see there are gaps between the flowers. And the width was 4 flowers. 
Then we placed the flowers below each other and connected them at these spots. And we made this open at the last quarter of the scarf. As both scarf ends will intersect here. We made this open by connecting only two flowers together at each side. We left this gap here and didn't connect both sides together. And this gap spans four flowers. And we left this part here unconnected. The length of the gap is four flowers, which is the same as the width of the scarf. So we can pass the scarf end from this gap. And this is how the connections look from the back side. The whole length of the scarf is approximately 115 centimeters. It's not too long as we made it to be wrapped around the neck. And if we wanted to change the length or width we will change the number of flowers we make. The 115 centimeter scarf consumed 112 flowers. So as we said if we wanted to change the length or width we will change the number of flowers we make. And this is how the puff flower scarf is done. Thank you.